a crazy match for y'all today. This this game was crazy. We were going blow for blow, punch for punch, big play for big play. It was it was insane. So my first possession was pretty terrible, man. My O line was getting destroyed by this dude's D line. We couldn't do nothing to stop JJ White or any of his other defensive linemen. So I ended up putting the ball just outside of his end zone. Then on defense, the first play we did pretty good. We got some pressure on his quarterback, got a cheap shot on him, forced the incompletion. But the second play, I called myself trying to use her Leon Sandcastle, and this guy hit me with a smooth one. He sent two routes down the middle of the field, forcing me to make a decision on who to guard, and I picked the wrong one. So a quick six for him. Second and ten. Playing conservative, trying to run the ball. I see the lane. I got a block. Fumble. What? How did three-star Emmitt Smith fumble? That was crazy, man. But once again, my defense prevailed, and we held them to a field goal. That was insane. He's getting mad lucky right now. So I'm about to be down 10 points going into the half, and if I don't score here, it's probably going to be a TKO. So it's only one thing to do. I got to hit him with a rope do. I got to make him drop his guard, and that's what I do. I run the ball. I get some good jabs in, some good cooks in. I get some clean shots to the body in. I got him looking a little wheezy. Got him trying to play a little bit more aggressive, loosening that guard up. And that's when I go for the juggler. That's when I go for the haymaker. Sandcastle on a deep post. I see him. I throw it. Sandcastle's running. He's going for it. He catches it. Sandcastle snags it in. The haymaker lands. He's down. Touchdown, Sandcastle. Well, it was a long throw. So we got pretty lucky at the end of the second half, and we're going to go into this next half barely down by three points. Now, opponent starts this half off with the ball, and he gets a great pass. You know, first down is some change. So I figured he's going to be trying to do that for the rest of this little drive, and boy, did I figure wrong. I came out in the cover two sink. He hit me right where it hurt, right between the hook zone and the deep blue zone, and Randy Moss got a nice touchdown, huge gain. So my opponent just hit me with a haymaker, and I ain't no chump, I ain't, I ain't no little punk, so I'm going to hit him right back with one. 30-yard pass to Jerry Rice, let's go. Interception? He read the route perfectly, came down and picked it off. He hit him with a counter punch. So after that big interception, my opponent put his guard back up, but my defense, they weren't going to back off. They kept jabbing, they kept fighting, and they kept hitting, and we held them to a fourth down, which he settled for a field goal. And right here, the pressure was on, and I knew who to go to. Deion Sanders. We hit him below the belt, we block his field goal, and we save the game for now. So we got the ball back, and I'm feeling froggy. And you know the saying, if you're feeling froggy, then leap. So I left. I snapped the ball, sent everybody deep. I'm checking down. I'm seeing who's open. And I just throw it up to Michael Irvin, the cocaine cowboy. Will he come down with it? He does. After that big catch, I had him on the ropes. But then he started clinching, and he held me to a field goal. All I got to do to win the game right now is to get this onside kick. Easier said than done. David Akers kicks it. We get a good bounce. It hits the shin. But my players went away from the ball. And that's the story of this game. This guy got way too many breaks. He kept running the ball out now and in the game now. But he doesn't. He tests my users. And Sandcastle gets the pick. Sandcastle saves the day. We take it back. Get some good yardage. So Sandcastle just got the pick. My opponent's playing off of him. He thinks he's tired. But he's not. Sandcastle down the middle. I throw it. Will he catch it? He does. He gets the step. Touchdown, Sandcastle. Sandcastle saving the day again. So my opponent gets the ball back, and he's playing for the win. And he's a smart man. He's picking on Sandcastle. He just had a big pick and a big touchdown. So he might be a little exhausted, but I'm using him, and anything can happen. So he goes at me again, trying to test my users. Uh-uh, buddy. Interception. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Same play doesn't work against me, and we end the game with a field goal. Hope y'all like this video. I'm out. Peace. The points on the board. What is going on YouTube? This is Sports Commentators March Madness, and you're here with Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of Jam City. And I'm coming to you with my Buffalo Bills Connected Career Series. And today we are facing the Seattle Seahawks. A very good team, but not today. They did not bring their A game. And it's going to show here as you see Fred Jackson getting the 53-yard touchdown. And we are up 7-0 early. Now, second quarter now. Russell Wilson trying to get that first down. Receiver in motion. Zach Miller in motion, actually. And I'm going to follow him. And they're going to try and hand it off. But Russell Wilson couldn't even get the handoff as I blitzed through. And I get Russell Wilson to the ground. I, I don't know if that was supposed to be a play action or a handoff, but it just backfired. And as you see, field goal right here. We're now we're up 10 0, so the offense is clicking. And this is what I like to see out of my team. Everybody's playing well. And this is a good time to play well, too, since it's late in the season. But you see Russell Wilson back to throw here. And that is. 
in the interception by myself. And Russell Wilson is about to lose it. I could just tell because he is just having a bad day. And as you see right here, up 17 to nothing. As you see Stevie Johnson going for a big bomb, 64-yard touchdown. And you see Russell Wilson's day is just about to get worse. Russell Wilson back to throw. And he looks, he looks, he throws it deep. And... That's his second pick of the day. Where's your A game at, Russell? Did you leave him in Seattle? <sighs> Beats me. Anyway. Could it, could it possibly get worse for Seattle? I don't know. It, it, could it get possibly worse? Russell Wilson again back to throw. He actually gets the completion this time, but Zach Miller can't hang on to the ball. And that's his, the third turner over the game. And I don't know how it could get possibly worse for Seattle. As you see, we get it. Oh, another touchdown. And we're up 24 0. But you see Seattle not giving up. They're trying to get themselves on the board at least. Russell Wilson back to throw. I hit him as he throws, and it's incomplete. And that's going to be. It, it looks like as Russell Wilson just needs a hug. He needs a hug. He's not going to get it from Pete Carroll, that's for sure. Look at him. Can I get a hug? No. <laughs> but as you see, we get another uh, field goal right here, 27 to nothing. And that's going to be your final score. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm the mayor of Jam City, and I am out of here.